Well, good morning, friends. It is Friday. Woo, woo, woo. Can I do that again? Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> I am so happy the weekend is here. And I got some construction that's going to start on my house tomorrow. That makes me excited. Um, we are putting in a toilet finally. For some of you know, that's been a long, hard, arduous journey. So I am uh, thrilled um, to be saying, yay, soon I will flush with a new kind of newfound joy in this area. But I wanted to come on back to you today and share with you. I hope you've been thinking about what we talked about last time. And we shared about unspeakable joy. I hope you were thinking about that. I know I said some of you are smarter than me. So I hope I was looking for some comments, but I didn't see no comments, man. So I think you just need to go to the books, man, and start start hitting the books so that we can chat about this a little more. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be force-feeding you this truth, you know. I want you to be like searching the scriptures and to see if it's so, you know. What are you experiencing out there in the ways of joy? What do you know in, in the ways of joy? What do you know that I don't know? Or what do you know that I need to know? Or what do you know that's worth sharing? And maybe it's not. Maybe you didn't share because it's unspeakable. I don't know, but let's chat about it. So I was sharing about unspeakable joy. And I said I would come back and I would tell you what I had found when I was digging. So there's some fun, actually it's just a fun thing. It's a fun thing to go study. If you haven't had time or haven't looked at it, it's a wonderful thing to kind of dig in um, because there's a lot of things that it says regarding joy. Yesterday we talked about even the word rejoice and how that spins off of it and how it meant to spin and like to be so excited. You can't even stand still. You're like just spinning with joy. So, um, but today I wanted to share also just the breakdown of unspeakable. So it comes from the Greek and um, it comes out of the beginning of it is ek. And if you know anything, it just ek is a word that is used in scripture a lot, but it means to come out of. And it's ek. So it's an ek. Um, and then the other part means it's alpha. So it's the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And so it comes out of God. What? This kind of joy comes out of God, out of his essence. And so there's sometimes we can be happy. So I think that that's what we're trying to get the fine line on because we can be happy about what's happening. But joy, I think joy is a different animal, my friends. Joy is something that can't be taken. Just like you said, the peace, the peace that the world cannot give. Joy comes from his presence. It says in his presence is the fullness of joy. The fullness of joy in his presence. And if his presence is dwelling in us, we can see why the kingdom of God is within us and how the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. So I thought that was another fun thing to think about. It also talked about when it said unspeakable. So um, means to be like speechless, unable to tell. We talked yesterday a little bit about being in awe. If we're in awe, that means we can't, we don't really have words. We're just like, like dumb, dumbstruck, they used to call it because the dumb couldn't speak. So you were struck with dumbness, dumbstruck, unable to talk about it. It also talked about being very unusual or extreme, indefinite, to be adequately described, undescribable, inexpressible, intense, unable to convey, absolutely overwhelming, remarkable. What? I love that. Joy that's so remarkable. So I'm telling you, my friends, just like I have made love my aim, I have got a new target that I am pursuing to understand, to take in, and to express more of, and I hope you'll journey with me on this. I was um, reminded at the minute I heard the word undescribable, I was reminded of a song that um, Chris Tomlin sang, gosh, I don't know, a while back ago. And so I just put a little bleep bleep here for you so you can enjoy it too this morning as your launching pad off into your Friday morning. Uh, One moment while I... Untamable. (laughs) 
indescribable. Hope you can hear this. So I'm going to go back just to that first part. Oop, oop, having technical difficulties. My apologies, my apologies. I think we got it here. Indescribable. Uncontainable. You place the stars in the sky and you know them by name. You are an amazing God. All powerful. Untamable. Awestruck, we fall to our knees and we humbly proclaim you are amazing God. <laughs> so that's Chris Tomlin. If you want to go check that out, I think that you'll enjoy it. Put it in your background today and stand in awe of who you are and who he is inside of you. Be joy, be filled with joy. May you be filled full and overflowing. And I hope you have a great and glorious, love-filled and victorious day and have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you on Monday. If the Lord be willing and I still be around to do that.